all magic comes with a price. <laughs> What's up guys? Happy Sunday. So as you all know, I am doing a Rumpelstiltskin cosplay and I'm doing a female Rumpelstiltskin cosplay at that. Um, so this is the makeup for my cosplay and I'm going to show you guys how I do this. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Fun fact, this is my first run doing this makeup look and I filmed it and did it as a tutorial. Um, I haven't done a test run yet but it actually came out really good so I'm just gonna keep it and um, this is the wig. If you want to know how I made my wig look like this um, you can watch my previous video and it will show you how to do that but in the meantime we're gonna get started and get this look. Let's get started. Okay guys, so unfortunately I totally forgot to record, um, so I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm doing here. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm just putting my hair back in a headband. If you have a wig cap, put a wig cap on. Um, my hair is short enough that it's not going to show through the wig anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this headband on. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my contacts in. So these circle lenses I got from Pinky Paradise and I will link them in the description below. I believe they're the Princess Pinky Twilight Brown, um, but I'm going to link them below for you so you can find them. These contacts are really great because they are prescription so I'm going to be able to see all night which is awesome because without my glasses or my contacts everything's pretty blurry. So. I'm super excited that I'm actually going to be able to see in these. So look at this awesome packaging. It came in like these little elephant contact cases. Like how awesome is that? So I always put contacts in first before I do my makeup just because as soon as you put makeup on your face it makes everything so much harder. You're more likely to get some kind of makeup in your eyes which is never fun. So I'm definitely just going to do this first and get these over with. So I'm just going to pop these in. If you're not used to circle lenses, which I definitely am not, I am a regular contact wearer but I usually do not wear circle lenses I just wear normal lenses um, these are much bigger than regular contacts and I feel like they're kind of softer too so they are a little harder to put on so just take your time make sure you're opening your eye nice up and really wide so you can really fit it in there the first thing I'm going to do is apply primer and I'm just using my Rimmel lasting finish primer and I'm just going to put this all over my face and neck and really prepare my face for getting makeup and everything on it. Next, I'm going to apply my concealer just like I usually would apply concealer. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes and I'm going to cover any blemishes with it and put it over my forehead everywhere. I'm just going to cover my face in concealer as I normally would. So I'm just going to go in with liquid latex and I'm going to put this over my cheekbones and around my forehead and down my jawline and I'm just going to build that up as much as I want and I'm going to take, when it dries, I'm just going to take my fingers and roll around in little circles just to really give my face some texture and um, bring out some of the bumps and bumps and things going on in Rumpel's face. Now remember we are doing a female version of Rumpel so we're not going to get into like his wrinkles or make us look like Robert Carlyle as Rumpel. We're kind of doing our own version of it so um, I'm just making a nice textured face and that's how we're going to go about doing that. So now that I have done all the latex I'm actually just going to go in with my regular bronzer and I'm just going to use this to contour my face and I'm kind of just using it as an outline so I know where I want all my shadows and highlights to go. So I'm just putting this on like I normally would only I'm putting it on a lot heavier so I can see it underneath all my other makeup. Now that I have my outline done with my contouring and my bronzer, I'm actually just going to go in with this green costume makeup and this is just generic green costume makeup that I got at Party Fair so any green costume makeup would do. I would recommend something more with like a sheen to it. So I'm just taking a beauty blender and it's a moist beauty blender and I'm just going to use this to blend this into all of that contouring that I just laid down. So wherever I put down the brown contouring, I'm going to put a really generous amount of the costume makeup right into those contour marks. So I'm just taking the green all over there. And then I'm also going to take it and lightly put it over the rest of my face and my neck. And um, this will just 
lay down a green base for the rest of my skin tone. So now that I have the green all laid down, I'm just going to go in with this gold. It's the same brand costume makeup and I'm going to take the gold and just put that more emphasized on my highlight area. So I'm going to put a generous amount on my cheekbones, on my forehead, and blend that in with the green and bring it down my neck as well. And I am going to put some where the green is just to kind of blend it up, but it's more emphasized on where the highlights are. But I have all that cream makeup laid down. I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and I'm just going to powder that over my face just to kind of set the cream makeup. Okay, now I'm going to get started on my eyes. I'm first going to just go in with this really gold shimmery eyeshadow and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid and into my corner of my eye and even bring it under my bottom lash line and I'm just going to put that all over. And now I'm just going to go in with this green color and I'm going to put that into the crease and kind of blend it out with the gold, um, but it's going to be more emphasized into the crease. And now I'm just going to take a dark black, I keep saying dark black, black is just black, a black eyeshadow and I'm just going to put that underneath my um, bottom lash line and I'm going to pull it out and make a flick on the side. And I'm really sorry guys, I always do this horrible thing that when I'm doing eye makeup I look down and you guys can't see anything that I'm doing. Um, but it's just basic eyeshadow movements. Now that I have all that done, I'm actually going to take the green eyeshadow and I'm going to use a bigger foundation brush and I'm going to use this to go back into my contour again and I'm going to use it to blend out kind of that cream makeup that I put down and it's going to kind of put a more even tone so I'm going to put that into back into the hollow of my cheekbones over my forehead on my jawline down my neck and then I'm also going to take the really gold shimmery one and I'm going to put that to fill in all the spaces where you can really still see my natural skin tone. And I'm going to use it to blend out some of the creams again and blend out my neck really well. And I'm just using a circular motion with the brush on my neck to really get it all nice and blended out. So now that I have all of the powder laid down and everything, I'm going to um, use my fingers again to kind of roll the latex and kind of bring more of the texture out that I laid down on my face. So Rumpel also not only has a nice sheen to his skin, but he also has kind of a scaly glittery look to it. So to add more emphasis on the texture that I've laid down, I'm also going to take some gold glitter and I'm just going to put that again, you know, on my brow bone, on my cheekbones, anywhere where there's kind of a highlight. I put it on my forehead, on my chin, and down my nose. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to cover my whole face in the glitter. I kind of just want to use it as like an accent. So now I'm just going back into my eyes again and I'm just going to take the dark green and really put some more emphasis into my crease with that. And I'm also going to take a dark brown just to add a little more depth into my crease as well. But I'm kind of just doing like a thin line. I'm not adding too much brown. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio and eyeliner and I'm just going to make a pretty dramatic flick. I'm going from where I put that bottom eyeshadow. I'm just going to start there, bring it into my eye, and I'm bringing it all the way into my inner corner and kind of bringing that up on my nose just to add like a little more drama into it. And I'm also going to connect it to the bottom and bring it down the bottom a little bit. So next I'm just going to fill in my brows with that same dark green eyeshadow again and I'm just going to fill them in as I normally would, nothing special. I'm just filling them in with a green eyeshadow instead of your regular old eyeshadow. So now we're going to go for the lashes and again I'm bending over so you can't see anything but I'm going to let you know I'm really bad at putting lashes on to begin with. Um, but the best thing to do is to use tweezers instead of your fingers but just be very careful when you're using tweezers around your eyes. And you want to grab the eyelashes right in the middle with the tweezers and plop it right in the middle on your lash line and then you want to bring the corners down one after the other. You want to make sure that the eyelash glue is pretty tacky as well when you're doing this so you don't want to put eyelash glue onto your lashes and then just stick it right onto your eye. You kind of want to let it air out for about 30 seconds and then you put it on your eye. I'm just going to add a little bit of Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara to my regular lashes and on my bottom lash line just to give it a little more emphasis. 
So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to my lips. So I'm just, again, taking that same dark green eyeshadow, and I'm just going to put that in the center of both of my lips. And then on the outsides, I'm going to take the gold eyeshadow and add that to the outsides. And then with my green eyeshadow again, I'm just going to outline my lips with the green eyeshadow. And then once I have all that, I have this black sparkly lip gloss that I just got at Spirit Halloween. And I'm just going to use that to put it kind of more towards the inside of my mouth. I'm not putting it all over my lips, just kind of towards the inside to add some shadow and a little more griminess, I guess. And now I'm just going back through with both the gold and the green eyeshadows and kind of blending everything out more, making everything look more even and more natural. I mean, as natural as green scaly skin can look. And I'm also going to put that over my ears and down my neck and um, kind of blend everything out more and make it all look more even. And now for the final touch, I'm just popping on my wig. So if you guys are curious about this wig, I did post a tutorial on how I made it. So if you want to know where I got it, how I made it look the way it does right now, you can find the link down below for that tutorial and it will take you straight to my wig tutorial and you can find out all the questions you have about it there. This is it guys. This is the finished rumple stilt skin look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Like I said, all of the makeup I used was um, just from Party Fair, so it's just like a generic costume makeup, um, aside from the bits and pieces that I told you otherwise. Uh, the eyelashes are from Spirit Halloween, as well as my eyelash glue. Um, and I will link the contacts down below and I will also link the wig tutorial so you guys can find that and know where um, to get oh, this wig and what I did to make it my own and make it super rumple like and all of that good stuff make sure you guys subscribe if you like this video because coming up next you are going to learn how I'm making my rumple still skin outfit um, and along with that I'll also have my hands painted and my nails painted if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and like I said subscribe so you don't miss out on the costume and so you can find my wig tutorial and I will see you guys very soon with a new video bye dearie so you thought you got it made for He's a living slipping out the back door